Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. We've got our slash two wheel drive monster truck back on the road here, or rather off the road. And um, we've got uh, our new MIP X drive um, hardened steel rear drive shafts on the truck. We put on some some trenchers to match the front. You can actually see that. Um, so. The slash is a bit odd because it's got um, it's got a wider track in the rear than it does in the front, so you have you have to use different wheels to compensate. Uh, and here we've actually have um, we actually have equal offset wheels on all four corners, so the front is narrower than the back. Um, before we were running our uh, we were running wheels and tires off of an ECX Ruckus. Uh, and they were actually narrower so now our truck has a wider stance in the back we'll see that uh, how that affects handling but just excited to get this track truck back on the road here what's crazy is that where the truck just landed I evidently landed before because I was a bit concerned I only had brought three out of four of these pro line uh, body mount uh, thumb screws here and I just found another one where the, the truck crashed. So, uh, what a fortuitous moment here. We're back up and running here with four body mounts. My lucky day, I guess. These trenchers really handle this track, this uh, you know, loose dry clay pretty incredibly. Much better than any stock slash or tracks this tire and um, even better than the ruckus tires, which were actually pretty decent for a, a stock monster truck.
Something doesn't quite sound right. Let me check it out. Ooh. Ooh, something doesn't sound right. And of all things, it's this gear cover screw. I feel really not smart for not bringing my toolbox now. Um, yeah, I should probably... I, I thought I would be smart and, and put in a, a bigger flathead screw, but evidently it wasn't deep enough to keep the gear cover or engage uh, the threads on the on the gear case uh, deep enough to keep that gear cover in place so the gear cover is rubbing with the axle so we are not going to be stupid and keep running this we're going to go back and fix it properly um, so we don't do any further damage to anything but thanks again for watching uh, let us know what you guys think of these videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.